Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where, as you may be able to tell from my voice, your boy has had quite a weekend. Not exactly the best weekend, I gotta say. I'm, I'm feeling very defeated right now after a uh, very optimistic but rough day yesterday watching my Irish uh, go down to the Ohio State Buckeyes. I'm coming off cold. So yeah, it's it, it's been a very rough past uh, 36 hours. But in this box right here is the potential to salvage this weekend and make it a pretty good weekend or let it go down as one of the worst weekends in recent memory because in this box is a knife that I have been eagerly dying to get my hands on and we're gonna get right into it and open it up with this guy right here this is the Civivi Sentinel Strike and uh the knife in this box actually has uh a lot, well, not a lot to do, but it has a similarity uh, between the two, between this Sentinel Strike and the knife in this box. And I'm not even going to, like, make it too secretive. What's in this box is the Microtech MSI with an FRN handle. So, as you guys know, I've been pretty, pretty critical of FRN in the knife industry. I'm usually not a big fan of it. Um, really big Spyderco fan, but I don't like Spyderco's FRN. Um, this is really the only knife to come out at all, in my opinion, that has FRN on it that I actually truly love and really enjoy. This is a great knife right here, but um, that's the only one. All the other ones have been kind of, uh, well, just really bad, in my opinion. I'm just not, haven't been a big fan of FRN, and uh, I'm really hoping... Really, really hoping, oh, the packing peanuts. The packing peanuts are back in full force. Um, really hoping that this MSI does something for me because uh, I'm very torn right now on my thoughts between the MSI um, and just exactly whether it is a great knife, a good knife. Uh, I have a lot of thoughts around it, but this one here in particular. Now, this this is a true unboxing. This has actually been sitting in that box, packaged for probably five or six days now. I ordered it, and then I had to go to Vancouver, Canada for work. So this thing has just been sitting there, and I figured maybe I'd let a little extra magic stir up while it sat in the box. Maybe it got a little better for me while I was waiting. Uh, but let's get into this and get some real thoughts and feedback on just whether or not this FRN handle is actually worth a crap. And as you can see, there it is in all of its uh, glory, maybe? We'll find out really quick right here. Um, B. B, I really hope you did a good job. I like how they just put B. It's going to be very hard to uh, figure out who did that if there was a mistake made in the inspection. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just being, trying to be funny. Probably not being funny, but trying. Uh, give me a break, guys. I am really pushing through this here because, man, oh, man, I don't feel great. But let's see. Hmm. So it kind of has the FRN feel, but hold on a sec here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Wow. Whoa. Okay. This is, we got something here. I got to take this in. I, I, I'm experiencing this for the first time, so you got to let, let it sink in for a second. Get some feel for it and uh, just see, wow, what I think here. Okay. Okay. All right. Initial thoughts. I'm very impressed with this handle. Um, I've handled the MSI plenty of times before. It's been the G10 version though. This is the first time I have handled the FRN version. Uh, before I get any too deeper into my thoughts here, let's take a look at some overall specs on what we have here. We are looking at an overall length of 8.9 inches with a blade length coming in at 3.85 inches and a blade thickness at 150 thousandths. Uh, steel on this is Bowler M390MK. A little different than regular M390. We'll talk more about that when we get to the blade. Uh, sheep's foot style blade with a flat grind and a handle length coming in at 5.05 inches. Handle thickness at 550 thousandths, as you know, as I've well noted. Uh, FRN scales on both sides, which as of right now, I'm pretty shocked to say that based on how this feels. Uh, we have the ram lock, which is a, kind of a version of a crossbar lock in a way. Um, we have a user of a right or left hand tip-up carry. This is fully ambidextrous. Lefties rejoice. 
and a weight coming in at 4.52 ounces and a price. This is what really kind of makes this for me. This is one of the things that really made it very, very interesting for me. 175 bucks, American made out of Microtech for 175 bucks. You just don't see that anymore. Like that's $175 knife made by Microtech is just not a, a reality until now. Um, so that's, that's very, very awesome. And I'm just so happy what my initial thoughts are of this right now, because as I hold this in my hand, I am shocked to tell you guys that this FRN actually feels awesome. It, it has kind of like, so if you scratch it, it kind of sounds like FRN, but it doesn't really feel that much like FRN, not like what you're used to. I don't feel the handle compress or flex in my hand when I'm squeezing it. I feel robustness. I feel strength. I, I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, that is awesome. Now, a lot of that has to do, if you look back here, and as you can see in there towards the back, there is a little bit of a liner going through the handle. There is a backspacer. There is the inner workings of the ram lock up here. So there's a lot of steel within that FRN, and that's making it very, very strong. I This is by far the strongest feeling FRN handle I've ever come across. And I, God, I'm so happy. Um, so relieved by that. Let's take a look at some size comparisons. See how it compares to some other knives here. Nice size knife. Let's uh, sandwich it between some Spydercos here. Here is the Spyderco PM2, as well as your Spyderco Shaman. And uh, measures up pretty well with the PM2, a little longer than the PM2, uh, considerably bigger than the Shaman. Uh, that's a little surprising, but yeah, really good size knife. And I got one more here to compare it with, and this is one that really should be compared with, of course, the Microtech SOCOM Elite, Microtech to Microtech. Let's see how these two line up, and they line up extremely well. Nice pair of knives right there. The biggest difference was this knife here, I believe is between, I think like 350 to 375, I believe is what they're up to now. Um, so yeah, for 175 bucks right here, this is an exceptional value. Even with the FRN, it is an incredible value for, for how it feels. Again, man, this, this is a game changer here. Microtech is really, really onto something. I'm not saying I want to keep seeing a bunch of FRN, but man, I tell you what, if it feels this good, I'm going to really struggle to have a hard time saying no to FRN. Um, of course, I would, you know, G10 would be better. And you can get this in G10. This is available in G10 for, I believe, $250. So, you know, for an extra 75 bucks, is the G10 worth it? I will say this, that the handle itself, well, let's get on the blade. We'll go back to the handle. We'll talk a lot more about that. But first, let's touch on this blade um, because it is one beautiful blade shape. This is kind. This kind of reminds me of the Chris Reeve uh, in single blade, which is a very, very enticing blade to me. I really love that blade shape. So basically what you have here is kind of a long sheep's foot blade. Um, gonna have a really nice aggressive tip, um, nice sharp edge, excellent blade cutout. And I've we used the blade cutout on the MSI on the regular G10 version, and it's very good for middle finger flicking as well as slow rolling that out very very nice enjoy very enjoying uh, enjoyable to operate bear with me guys I'm, I'm still pretty rough here um but you got some good jimping back there on the blade on the spine and uh yeah just a really really good looking blade um i have no issues with this they got they got away with a lot of the bad blade braiding that microtex used to they put their awesome little symbol down there just a nice spot Everything about this blade is executed to perfection, in my opinion. M390 MK, let's talk about that real quick. Um, it is basically Bowler M390 with a slightly higher carbon content. Now, what that does is that makes for a small increase in hardness, only about half of an RC, so not, not a whole lot, just a little, very small bump in hardness, um, and actually a very small decrease in corrosion resistance. But, 
I'm not worried about that. M390 is already a very um, non-corrosive blade, so you don't have to worry about that. It's, I mean, yes, if it decreases the corrosion resistance a little, you're maybe talking like an 8 out of 10 instead of a 9 out of 10, or probably not even that much. So not really anything to worry about. I got uh, most of that information there from Knife Steel Nerds. And from what he came up with, the difference to make it M390 MK really is quite marginal. Um, not anything to really get up in arms about in a good way or a bad way. Microtech did it just to kind of help differentiate themselves from the rest of the industry that's using Bowler M390. So it is still Bowler M390, made by Bowler, all that good stuff. Just a very, very slight modification by adding a little carbon content to make it uh, a steel that is used exclusively for Microtech knives. So there's that. Take it for what it's worth. Now let's get into this handle. Because the handle is by far and away the part that makes this knife something for me. Um, in terms of ergos, this is the one, this is the one thing about the MSI that it's not really a bad thing, but it's the ergos on the knife are good. I they're just not great for me. I, I struggle to find the sweet spot of where to hold this knife. Like this feels good, and and, and so does this. This feels pretty good. So again, it, it, most of it, everything is good here. I just don't have like when I grab the Spider Co Shaman. Like this is it. This is the perfect, perfect fit in my hand. It goes straight into that. This is where it is. This is where I want it. And when I'm holding the MSI. Um, you know, this is good. It, again, it's okay. It's not bad. It's just, it doesn't quite have that perfect fit in my hand like some other knives, but still good ergos. Um, I honestly can't find anything bad about this handle. Um, the one thing that I think is the only drawback to this FRN is the edges on the inside of the scales here. They're, I don't want to say they're sharp, but they feel, you know, they don't have that little bit of chamfering like G10 would because these are obviously molded um, and there's just no real chamfering done there. So if they could find a way to chamfer FRN, now granted that would be, you know, more time and labor. They could probably bump up the price a little, um, but that's the only thing. If they could find a way to chamfer this area right here on the inside of the handles, um, I would have absolutely zero issues with FRN, and I am floored that I'm saying that right now. I'm so happy to be saying it, but I didn't think I'd be saying it. I thought there'd be a lot more compression and flex in the handle when I'm doing this right now, and there's just not. Another thing that I really like is the texturing they did here, um, or maybe the, the molded texturing they incorporated into the scale, because I like this design more than what they're doing with the little small amount of frag down on the G10. I actually prefer this. And again, another thing, very surprising here. I, I was already set in stone. I'm getting a G10 version, yada, yada, yada. It's over. I don't even want to handle the FRN. And then this became available. And I thought, okay, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. And man, oh man, am I glad I did. Um, I think the best thing they did with this knife was put all this, all the strength and rigidity in the handle. Um, they really may, are making this FRN feel damn near like G10 um, with all the workings and the backspacer. And as you can see, there's a liner there and it doesn't go all the way. It's, it's like a half liner. So it's, it's only going like covering this much of the handle. So this part of the scale here on the top and bottom is just, as you can see, just a uh, molded FRN. But I just can't believe how good that feels. This is awesome. So I, I can't officially say that this knife has, has salvaged a weekend for me. Notre Dame punched me in the gut again. But Microtech has actually come through to salvage a weekend. So thank you, Microtech. That's actually awesome. The action on this thing is incredible right out of the box. Very, very smooth. Love that thumb roll. The one little drawback you have to the ram lock, and you really, this is a drawback you have with um, any type of crossbar lock, in my opinion, um, if you like to middle finger flick, is sometimes to brace the knife in your hand to flick the blade out, You sometimes you don't have any choice but to put a little pressure back here on part of the lock, which can do that sometimes. Now, I did that on purpose. There is a way to get around this. And basically, it just takes just a little bit of wrist, a little bit of wrist to help kind of muscle through that little bit of pressure you're putting on the uh, on the ram lock piece itself. Because by putting a little pressure, you're kind of slowing the blade from coming out. So you have to be mindful of that. You can either try and go above it, and you can do that. 
But that, that actually takes a little more thought as to where just a little bit of rest and the blade comes out very easily. Um, overall, it is a very enjoyable action. And one thing that's really catching me here is when you go to close it, the, the feel and the sound of the knife, it's not... It's not a whole lot like FRN. I thought it would feel a little more clicky and clacky, like a little more plasticky sound. It's actually a very nice sound. This knife does not sound, it doesn't sound cheap. It doesn't sound like it's using FRN. Uh, it may feel like it's using FRN, but not even as much as other FRN handles. This is amazing, guys. This really is, dare I say it, a home run. A home run from Microtech using FRN. Um, I'm going to let my thoughts stew on that a little more. And I'll probably bring this back for maybe a long-term review down the road. Because I'm going to be carrying this a lot. I'm very, very interested to see how this handle holds up. I know FRN is a very strong material. So I'm not too worried about it breaking. And I'm not one to like... I'm not going to use this uh, you know, as an axe or anything crazy. I'm going to use it like a, a pocket knife should be used. So I don't really anticipate to have any issues. What I think the biggest takeaways from this for me is one... Action is phenomenal out of the box. Um, most importantly, this FRN is fantastic. Is is just by far and away the best FRN I've ever handled. I'm still so shocked and happy to say it. And the sound, the sound and feel is definitely not indicative to FRN. It's very, it, it feels like a more high-end knife. And I think that is amazing. A lot of good things going on here with this Microtech MSI and FRN for only 175 bucks. A lot of really good things. I would highly, highly, highly recommend hopping on one of these guys. Um, if you're not someone that wants to spend over $200 on a knife, if you want to stay closer to that 150, 175-ish range, 175 is getting you one hell of a knife right here. Um, and I'm just so happy to say that. Um, there you go, guys. Let me know what you think of this. And I will not be selling this knife. This is sticking around. Um, I'm happy to have this in the collection. Did not think I would say that coming into the unboxing. I was really nervous. Um, yeah, I couldn't be happier with this. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have handled the FRN from Microtech. And if you're impressed with it as I am. I'm really shocked at what I pulled out of this box today. So um, I'll probably follow up later with some more updates. But uh, that's it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you think of the Microtech MSI in general, as well as the FRN version. Really hope you enjoyed this one. I hope your team didn't lose this weekend. I hope your team came through for you. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.